a guy who did Tim Dillon. He was the producer of the Tim Dillon show. Remember? And they had this big public falling out where Ben was fired or Ben quit. And Ben started a new show, which I really like. Lemon Party. For some reason, we must got a lot of the Ben heads. Lemon heads. In the... uh, in the redhead community, I'm looking at the chat now. Ben Avery, uh, press one if you are involved with Ben Avery. Just a quick survey because, yeah, press one if you watch this Lemon Party or you're involved with Ben Avery and during his streams. Um, it seems almost every week I get somebody showing me a red bar in the wild, and it's Ben Avery talking about red bar. Somebody in his chat mentions red bar, and he's talking about us. I don't know why we're always being brought up around there. But every time I turn it on, it gets a little worse, a little worse each time. Uh, when we started, when we first, we did a two Red Bar in the Wilds with this Ben Avery from Lemon Party. And the first two times were kind of complimentary, right? I think once he talked about how you saved the school, the end bop at the school situation. And he complimented you okay. on saving the school, I yeah. think. Okay. That's all I remember. But they weren't too bad. No, they were nice. Guys, the sevens and the twos, we don't do that. They're just a one. <laughs> you guys usually do really good. Ben, uh, Lemon Party. This is a segment called... We got to help Ben. He's really depressed, and he's struggling with uh, with sobriety. <laughs> I couldn't believe this. Uh, where do I start here? Uh, with this one, Jules, just uh, a clip. For... I'm assu- I think the first two clips. Yeah, but do I got to read any of this text here? What is no, all this no, no. notes? Okay, I'll show you what I mean here. And we got a problem here. We got to fix this. Let me open this. The, the... Uh, what time are we at? Forty nine fifty. Let's try that. Forty nine fifty. Here's Ben on Lemon Party. Did I get there? No, I did not. Let's try that again. Uh oh, my shit's down. Okay, we'll try it again. Refresh. Here's Lemon Party. The, the- 49.50 is where I want to go. Uh-oh. Yeah. See, my thing's down. It'll come back. It'll come back. Uh, 49.50. Here's Ben. I don't know what this is. Is this like an after show he does for Patreon where he has all these windows open and he's sitting here on the bottom like this? I guess. I don't know because this isn't Lemon Party. Lemon Party, you said, is with two other guys, right? Yeah, it's like Come Town 2. Yeah, Come Town 3. So I don't know what this is. It's a live chat show that he does. Maybe this probably is his a bonus Patreon. Show bonus or show on Patreon. Probably. Okay. Forty nine fifty. But this isn't Lemon Party, right? This no. is Ben Avery's stream. Okay, let me show you this. I need your help with something here. Here he is. But thank you. Thank you. Can we see him down? My there? hands are tied. I can't read your comment. But God bless you. Thank you for watching the stream, Justin Moore. Lance Goodthrust with the two says Red Bar is overrated. Just say it. It's just So somebody chats in here. You see this chat here? Somebody writes in Red Bar's overrated. Just say it. Okay, look at this. And look at how he's at. Can you see him good enough there? Do I need to zoom in? You can zoom in a little. He's right down there by the bar. So it's making it tough for me here. Hmm. Maybe right there is good. You can see him. Okay. Two says red bar is overrated. Just say it. It's just, uh, I mean, the, the the guy's play. He's just playing the villain. It's it's just what the. It's it's nothing. <gasps> <laughs> There's really nothing to even say. He creates nothing of his own. He doesn't <laughs> just sit and go. He doesn't make anything. He doesn't write anything. He doesn't do anything. What the fuck? <laughs> What what has gotten in me? What's going on here? Because this isn't the Ben I know. What's going on, Ben? What's bugging Ben? Because I'll tell you, this doesn't sound like it has anything to do with us. Why is Ben all of a sudden going from complimentary to saying this nasty propagandist crap? Listen to this. Oh, he doesn't make anything. He doesn't write anything. He doesn't do anything. He's just, he's completely reactionary. It doesn't exist. If the, if the comedy podcasts, that whole scene, if it dies, so does he. So how is he better than the thing he's exposing? 
And I also get there is a need to expose it because they're also congratulatory of themselves and constantly jerking each other off and acting like everybody is great. Unlike comedy in the 2000s where people were honest with each other and could rip each other and make fun of each other. But like, I mean, who who gives a shit? I, also, who if you care about comedy shit? podcasts this much, you're gay. Ooh, okay, okay. <laughs> this is a guy who's on a show, by the way. Uh-oh, I've done it again. I've done it again. This is a guy who's on a show. You're on a show. I'm sorry, if you're talking about something, you gotta care. Not everything, when, when you start seeing a guy with this who cares mentality and it's stupid and it's gay and he's got this whiny back and forth movement that they do, that's a good sign that they're depressed. Now, I don't know. I heard some rumblings that he recently had to quit drinking. Ben, I don't know what's going on. You're struggling with sobriety here. I heard that he recently had a kid who's been a pain in his ass. He went to London uh, recently. What's going on, Ben? Because we got to solve this here. We can't be like this. We can help you. There's no reason, Ben. You've got a great cast. People love you. you got there, a great bed. There is no reason Ben shouldn't like Red Bar. Let's hear it some more. I, also, if this you is care about me. comedy podcasts this much, you're gay. Ooh. If you have a show where you talk about other comedy podcasts uh, ad nauseum, you're fucking gay, too. <laughs> it's gayer than having a bad comedy podcast and being a bad uh, co- comedian with a bad comedy podcast. It's just oh. it's just gay. It's just gay. I'm sorry. Ben. It's, it's gay. Oh. It's ben. gay. Ben, this is you. But also this he, you. I think he's talented. This isn't you. This isn't you. What's going on with Ben? Has anyone noticed a change in his behavior? This is not the Ben that I know. So is this what Tim was talking about, Benny? Is this what Tim was? Because now you're showing me maybe this wasn't a problem with Tim Dillon. We were hoping it was. Is this a Ben problem? Is this a typical thing where you start getting whiny like this? Everything's gay. Everything sucks. There's no point. You know, I keep hearing this. uh, A show that talks about other things? Every show talks about other things. Sorry. I hate to tell you this. You hear this one all the time. Oh, my God. They talk about uh, podcasts? Jesus Christ. But you're doing a podcast. You know what I mean? We tuned in a lemon party to see what he was talking about. That must be so much better than this. And they're sitting around talking about Movies. (laughs) Movies. <laughs> and they're reviewing movies. That is... Ben! Sorry, it's not Blood Meridian. Blood Meridian. No, he was talking this about Kevin Cosner. Meridian no, we caught him. I guys. told him. Oh, yeah, I, Kevin Cosner. Cosner. <laughs> he was talking about Kevin Cosner and rating his performance. So you could rate <laughs> Kevin Cosner? Somewhere, Kevin Cosner is sitting around going, God, these podcasts, all they do is talk about Movies. I don't understand why people don't understand. They could criticize music and movies their whole life since they were a baby. You've understood the criticism of movies and music, but they cannot understand criticism of comedians and podcasts that have taken over. It's not like podcasts are some small underground uh, thing that nobody knows about. They've taken over. They're the biggest thing in the world. They're bigger than CNN, right? Joe Rogan. They're bigger than Don Lemmings. Lemons. Lemon party. I mean, you're allowed to sit around and talk about Brett Gelman. Well, we got to figure this out. I don't want it to be an argument. No, but we love you. You don't have to. We need an apology. We We need need to figure this out. I think we really need. Let's hear some more. Talented as a broadcaster, he's also made me laugh laugh before. So these things can. Let's have some nuance here with with everything and, and, and shitting on stuff. I don't care. It's probably good that he exists, because I also I agree with a lot of what he says too. Who so? But who? It's not like if this you're a guy depression. who just watches this his is show, alcoholic like, I mean, New York depression. I, I don't. Is he from New York? Is he living in New York? Because this is a Nick Mullen style thing, like where you're going through a thing. Leave that at home. You don't see me coming in here whining and complaining. I'll do it with a smile. Always whine and complain with a smile, but when you're sitting there, especially with this with this bedroom backdrop, which is not much different from probably the real room you're in, sitting here on these low that budget is the room, streams, because that 
coffee table is the one from Lemon Party. The camera is facing where he's oh, sitting Oh, that's right a now. real room? This I isn't think, a fake, uh, I think ironic background? the same background? room unless he oh. moves that coffee table to a different room for uh-huh. the other show. 3.5K views stream four days ago. I hate to tell you this, but this is another win for the toe. <laughs> yeah, Steel Toe has, has you beaten views. Steel Toe Melton <laughs> is beating you in views. It's time to get complimentary. I don't care, but I don't care to have an opinion on it. I don't. You should care. I, I, I hate this. I'm growing disinterest in talking about it as I'm speaking. I don't give a shit. I really don't care. He can barely hold his wait, head up wait. straight. I, I want to move forward and just and just make things and have a family and do. I don't okay, care. Okay, so this is the depression part. Nobody asked you about you. Nobody. They said thoughts on red bar or some shit like that. And then he starts saying this. This is listen to this. This is depression, and we need to help him. Listen to this. Make things. Wait, wait, wait. I don't Here. care. I don't care. I don't care. I, I want to move forward and just and just make things and have a family and do I don't care about what? people who talk about comedy podcasts. You want to move forward and make things and have what? a family? Go go for it. <laughs> what does that have to do with the amazing Red Bar? <laughs> Why would you even start thinking about you during this? You want to move forward. Do you and it, feel how about, guilt? You know what? I'll, I'll tell you. This podcasting ain't for everybody. You're watching. We're in a thing right now. You're seeing a lot of podcasters just sit with their head in their hands, whining and complaining while depressed and tired, yawning, streaming, not caring. If you're not in the mood, don't come online. This is a show. You got to present yourself. You can't be sitting there whining complaining like this listen and have a this family. show is just you taking super chats and ask answering questions <sighs> is that something or i is mean that really less than nothing? what are we talking about here <laughs> i mean we're owed some respect by these people but you know what it is he is one of those guys who he's like he's got his no country for old men poster david lynch eraser head he's like one of those guys he wants to be like a literary intellectual yes. guy yes but he just does lemon party but he wishes that he was doing something more. He wishes he was making yeah. little Twin Peaks or and something. And you could be. So I'll he tell feels you. bad about just being a podcaster. Yes. And now he's taking it out on well, us. Well, here are some tips for you. Cut down on the amount of podcasting you're doing. Get off Twitter. Get off Instagram. Get off wherever you are. Stop doing that because this is the stuff you're complaining about. You're saying you want to make stuff. You want to be this artist. Well, go make some art. And start with your own show let's art it up a bit like cut to the wide like maybe red bar okay the guy who's never made anything and start your art today okay you don't have to be on streaming if you're not in the mood but we can't have everybody doing a stream and you're seeing these views are falling off Giannis Papas all these people think they could just sit there every fucking day You've burned yourself out. they're getting out. the super chats. They want those. That's what it is. So <laughs> see, this super chat has turned every podcaster into an all-day Hassan Piker-style online streamer, which is a psychotic job. This is something, remember when this first happened, a guy streaming all day, every day? That was like a psychotic experiment, like a hidden camera reality show where you're on all day. You're not supposed to be on all day. And if you want the money, save up all your thoughts and once a week put on a nice show like Red Bar and then you'll get the money. They're saying in the chat that he said many times he's writing a novel. Uh, so he sees himself as a novelist, not a podcaster. Of oh, <laughs> New York City. That's not nothing. Mm. That's for fucking Have, Has Dasha sucked your dick yet? If not, <laughs> you ain't New York. Dude, I don't care about people who talk about comedy podcasts. Look at this depression. I don't care about comedy podcasts. You should. I don't care about these fucking things. Then don't Doesn't do mean, They don't mean anything. It's fluff. It's fluff. It's a Every video is a big billboard. Then why are you taking the money for the fluff? I mean, wait till you see. His big thing is, this is all he does, Lemon Party. 
You could write a knob. Say you're Are we writing wrong? a knob. Correct us in, if we're wrong. Then show he's doing us more than the Lemon art party. you've done. Because we went ahead. I had to go see what your real show was. We're going to show you in a second. We'll show you what his real show is. I, I couldn't believe it. And I go, I go, where? I go, this can't be his real feeling. This is a, a guy who's like going through something right now. Let's hear some more. For these people to sell tickets on the road. That's all they care about. The, they do the thing as a stepping stone to the other thing. They don't actually give a shit about the craft or the quality of broadcasting. I mean, the, half of them are fucking falling asleep while they're doing it. They read a couple of new. They they read like Apple News headlines before they start broadcasting, and then they speak very surface level about all these things. And that it's just it's all. They they all pretend to be friends. It all it all stinks. I don't I don't care about them. I don't care about people who talk about them. I don't give a shit. Very similar to what we were catching Patrick <laughs> Melton doing earlier. Remember that? Yep. With the whining. Have you, have you noticed the whining in podcasting is uh, increasing lately? I think we had another clip. So I saw this clip, right? And I think I left a comment. Do we see my comment here? Scroll all the way down past this. I said, let's see. I got one like <laughs> on this. I said, really disappointed in this, Ben. Hey, hey, hey. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I am disappointed this. It turns out he was live streaming when I commented this. It turns out he got the news about my comment right away. I couldn't believe it. So he's already doing another stream. Uh, let's see this one. 159.21. Will this work now? No. Hmm. Uh, Just restart your browser yeah, after this. Restart it. One fi- read me these time codes. Uh, 159 21. 159 21. At the end of his two hour stream, he must be tired here. Okay, let's hear this. Well, so then he has something to talk about for eight hours or whatever. Uh-oh. And Barr commented on that. I think I got everything. We had fun on this Friday, huh? This was a good time. No. Oh, so this is a real room. I think I got a notification that Red Bar commented on the last live stream, so I guess he's, like, uh, upset with me or whatever. I mean, isn't this what he does? He pretends to, like, pretends. be upset with people, so then he has something to talk about for eight hours Excuse or whatever the hell. Me. <laughs> so that should be fun. I'm sure a bunch of people will uh, DM me videos of that and stuff Jesus. or whatever. What is going on? Don't I don't hate that guy. So oh, wait, wait. He doesn't hate me. It's a full sip. If I remember correctly, I, I think I just said it. I didn't. Uh, I don't know. It's. It's. I just said it's. It, it's nothing. It's just reaction videos. It's the same as people. Rea- it's like black guys reacting to listening to like Radiohead for the first time or whatever no, on YouTube. It's just, no. You're not doing anything. You're just. You're listening to something. He. And- by the way, I was listening to Lemon Party. Black this. Black that. Black. 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 I was so surprised. <laughs> He's got a thing with black people. Really. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. This is like the last guy I'd expect. Really, you'll see the lemon party. I, well, didn't you, black people, black people, black people, black people. So many black. He's obsessed. Little things. And then reacting, doing this, doing that. It's not a. Uh, it's it's nothing. It's nothing <laughs> from it's this, reacting from to this other guy. people reacting to stuff. Actually, it's it's, it's even less than nothing. Like I said, if all these podcasts that supposedly sucked died and stopped existing, so would he. He would also die. In so- your dreams, <laughs> New York. This is like a fool's fantasy here where they tell themselves this is the biggest cope in the game. If these podcasts that he hates so much all stop, they're never going to stop. <laughs> you think these two things are going to stop? I, I mean, I could literally sit here all day, every day, and it would never stop. I'll start talking about this damn glass <laughs> There's no for podcast, 10 hours. We'll talk about pop-up ads on cuts.com, yes. baby. You can't stop us. I could roast this fucking room I'm in for 10 hours, <laughs> for God's sakes. So how is he greater than the thing if he's if he's an appendage of the... And who's saying the- this, uh, I'm greater than the thing? This is what you're thinking? See, all these guys... They it starts with their idea of me being king, and then them trying to figure out why I'm king. I'm never. Well, they're like he's never written a novel like I'm going. How to do you do. know? I got a whole book right here of <laughs> ideas. I take photography seriously. 
Have you seen this? That's good. Look at those That's colors. Nice. Uh, it's happened again. I, I don't know how this is happening here. It, we've never had a problem Move this over severe. A millimeter to the Move left slash right. Move over, November. It's time for Movember. Remember that? All right, let's hear. This is, this is but do you see the, the depression here? So we got to ask, what's going on with Ben? And I want to clear this up. Next time when I come back to this desk, I want it to be a video of going, I'm sorry, Mike. I'm going through a lot with my new kid. I just quit drinking because I couldn't handle that. Cheers to that, by the way. Here, Ben. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. This could destroy your whole family, huh? (laughs) Not me. Everyone's doing better than ever with this in my sis. (laughs) Oh, let me guess. You love beers over this. Oh, it's that files. Not now. And cancel. Literally a pop-up came up on my iPad that said access denied. I don't know what that, I'm not kidding. <laughs> I looked over, that's what I hit. Why is it now you're under- Shut up! This shock jock shit's gotta stop. He definitely needs to relax and get himself some Ruby Flowers hemp. I'm watching a lot of guys. RubyFlowers.com. That's R U B Y F L O W E R S dot com. Stop, you're killing me. Here. It's the fucking thing. He couldn't survive on his own. <laughs> he couldn't survive on it. I'm the most on your own podcaster of the generation we're living in. I'm sorry. It's insane. I'm the most on your own podcaster of our times. I really, I'm going to start demanding more respect from you guys, okay? Because I invented the, I paved the way for you to do this horseshit. From Guitar Center in 2003, when I bought my first compressor, which is something you probably still don't own. You do it digitally. <laughs> Um, look at, I look think at, we got everybody here, hey, though. Hey, Ben, your show goes, eh. Is there anybody else? Why don't you do oh. something artistic on this show? All I'm seeing is filth. <laughs> this ain't brat. On these chats, I think we got everybody. Damn, and we have the most people in here right now, but yeah, I guess it's just... Uh, yeah, most people. I guess it's just done. I gotta see what this most people business is. 3.2. Um, yeah, and I'm happy Red Bar exists, by the oh. way. Oh! I think Red Bar is a. I think it, I think it balances everything out. Like I said, I said I gave him some points. I gave, gave him some points, and he's a lot funnier than a lot of these comedians. Oh, Which, by the way, it isn't the like I'm. I'm a saying lot, much. There. I mean, for people to say this about me, first of all, that's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy how many people say this now, and I'm not technically on paper. I'm going to read this. Trust me, coming up, you'll see. Not funny. So that's a, that, I mean, we're in a real crisis here. If I'm funnier than the top comedians, this cannot be the case. The comedians must be funnier or step aside and find another guy like this Julio Torres, who you're all shaking your head at because he's gay. He's funnier than any of the comedians that were uh, being propped up here on this uh, Rogan thing. You know, Tim Heideck or uh, Julio Torres. These are the guys that should be in the place of all these assholes uh, that we've got right now. So really, the comedians, you got to do a lot better if everybody on the planet is saying Red Bar's funnier than all the comedians he talks about. That's bad. That's horrible. Especially for a guy who isn't writing or making anything and just reacting off the top of his head. You watch some comedy podcast, you're like, what? Like yours. I have more, uh, I have more guffaws at a uh, anything on NPR than this. Like, what the hell? Have you ever felt what it's like to get your glasses ripped from your head and twisted until they <laughs> pop? No, he's gonna see this and think that we like want to kill him. We're fine. This isn't you. We know you're depressed. We you know love this us. isn't you. you. Love us. We're fine. It's on the arm. And does Tim know you're saying this about me? Does Tim watch all this? Maybe he's jealous that you keep asking Tim on a date. Well, I'm disappointed, and I'll tell you what. Tim is also disappointed. As you can see here from this look, (laughs) and no, this is not the same picture of Tim I used for that song. This is another one (laughs) that I printed out that same day with a different frame so I could have options. (laughs) Do you have a framed photo of your 
the reason you exist. And you're saying we don't do nothing. Without Tim, you'd be nothing. We are both very disappointed in you right now. Look at Tim's face. Here, cut to the close again. This is the face Tim's making while you say this horse shit about Red Bar. <laughs> Tim doesn't say this. He goes, yeah, he's a very funny guy. From the top comedian in the world. <laughs> this is be like if Chris Farley said I was funny. Or any of the other big, jolly, fat shows from the past. <laughs> he's the top com- comic, right? He knows a lot about Biden. Oh, my God. Thank you. Great cut. You cut to the wider shot when I did that. Guys, oh give it up for Jules, everybody. Oh, my God. Give it up for me, but I have to sweep yeah, that up before Chula steps on that. him. Please don't let him over there. I want to see that. We need a slow-mo replay <laughs> machine. That was not set up. Oh, my God. That was so bad. There's Thank you. You cut right when I smashed it because no one would have seen that. It was cut to the close-up cam. You cut away to the wider. Oh, Jules. That was kind of like a racer head. Now let's smash into the glass. <laughs> I'm a director. Okay. I'm a I just get this. Robot. By the way, that is better than anything that's ever been aired on your show during the history, the whole lifespan <laughs> of your career. That was funnier, better, and cooler. <laughs> let's wrap it up with him. Let's hear what he's got uh, to say now. What do you say to that? But, uh, you know, God bless Red Bar. Oh. oh. Well, God we're bless. Sorry, him. then have my photo god bless the man who needs enemies enemies are his oxygen it's how he thrives it's how he swims stick with you like us he's out there in the i ocean. care about these enemies you i can care less every once in a while i don't think you should a, drink out of those they could have glass in them what you need a new cup let me clean don't no. drink that water there could be little gr- there's only shards. A, there's only oh my god there actually is a glass I told shard you. wait 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 i just want to make sure you're right <laughs> no there's no glass Ooh, this is war- this is how hot it is in here. This water is warmer than me. I know I'm so hot. Right this now, water guys. is warmer than me. It's that it's hot crazy. in here. What's the degrees? L- let me look because this will tell me. Well, this is the stupid Google. I I'll tell you something. This Nest thermostat. Do not get a Nest. You know what's a great thermostat? The white one that comes stock in a shitty apartment. The white one. With the buttons. This Nest is so hard to operate. You're touching this thing and trying to move this touch button. I'm telling you, the Nest is horrible. And then you go to Google Home. It's the only place. So right now, let's see what we've got here. Uh, I don't know. It's not giving me. 81 degrees inside. Is that hot? It's 81 in here with, what's the humidity? No, it's not showing me. 41% humidity, 81 degrees. Nest thermostat. Okay, we'll take a break. Thank you, Ben. You Was that it for worry, Ben? ben. We wait, love wait, wait. you. Wait. Oh my God! There's glass. God bless. Uh, God bless Red Bar. Thank you. God bless him. God bless him because you know he's watching. <laughs> he's always watching this Red Bar. Oh, there's glass everywhere. In fact, yes. Let's see here. I think I got everybody. All right. <gasps> okay. This is. Uh, I'm gonna go give my daughter a bath now. But I think <laughs> everybody's having. Time. No, that is a mother's job. <laughs> You're going to give your daughter a bath? Ooh, <laughs> daddy ooh. wash my front. Oh, shirt. this is getting steamy in here. <laughs> it's just the 81 degrees. Uh, great, uh, great Friday. Hope everybody's going to have a good uh, weekend. Shut the fuck up. We'll go to break. We'll be right back after we clean up this glass. We'll see you, you soon. You got to go and clean up and I have to hold Chula over here because he's going to immediately run to you as soon as I pause and I you to worry him. too much about glass that's the thing about girls girls think glass you know what girls are afraid of glass fire and guns they get so worried about those three things it's like chill out when's the last time you saw anybody <laughs> die from getting glass because women are always protecting them that's why that's a great point we'll be right back don't go anywhere our breaks are short we'll see you soon Love this song. <laughs> now I told you never talk about glass like that. It's the last time I want to. Oh.